Shalom. Uh, Nguvaino, I just want us to look at First uh, Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. Uh, this is an important time that we are in. And um, uh, from First Samuel 7, 12, we are told, Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizbah and Shem and called its name Ebenezer, saying, This far as the Lord helped us. Uh, I just want us to look at that word Ebenezer. Thus far the Lord has helped us. We are now on a journey that uh, started in 1980 to 2020 is 40 years. And uh, we need to check everything. Uh, are things okay? Because we need also to be like the children of Asaka, you know, First Chronicles uh, 12 verse 32, the sons of Asaka who had understanding of times to know what Israel ought to do. And uh, their chiefs were 200 and their brethren were, uh, you know, in, at their command. So for me, I'm more interested that we are 40 years brethren. Ebenezer, this far has the Lord brought us. There is something that needs to shift in the realm of the spirit so that we can come into our prophetic destiny. The, the, the things that have happened in these 40 years, it's like we've been going round and round and round. And I believe that we need to be like children of Asaka to understand the times and to know what we ought to do. If we miss this 40 years, this period, if we miss it, we might go for another 40 years just going around. But I believe this far the Lord has brought us. There are certain things that I believe God has to help us to pray for. So I want us to pray for the, this aspect of Ebenezer. This far you have brought us, Lord. And because you have brought us this far, we are believing you for a breakthrough. We are believing you for a new Zimbabwe. I don't think... Uh, you know, we can continue with what we are seeing here. We have to tell God that this is Ebenezer. We need to change the things. We need to seek God. Uh, <laughs> we are told, uh, so we are wanting to pray for these aspects. It says, uh, let us search out and examine our ways and turn back to God. This is Lamentations chapter 3, verse 40 to 42. Let us lift up our hearts and hands to God in heaven. We have transgressed and rebelled. You have not pardoned. Let us search out our own faults. I think we have too many faults in this nation. So we want to ask God and say, God Ebenezer, but search us out. We want to make things right because we cannot continue with some of the things that are happening in our nation. So for me, I am saying 40 years, we have to examine ourselves. Let's correct the situation. Now, Ezra chapter 8, verse 21, I want to encourage each one of you as family members, as, uh, as uh, people, individuals, to look at that. Ezra 8, verse 21, it says, Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river Ahava, that we might humble ourselves before our God, to seek from him the right way for us and our little ones and um, one and all our possession and i think that's where i'm going to end with you here i'm going to ask you to do something with us that in zimbabwe today ebenezer thank you lord you've brought us this far but lord you can see that we've been going round and round and uh, instead of us now this is 40 years we are believing god that God will bring the release and the breakthrough. May God help us as we pray. So Father, we want to thank you for Ebenezer. 40 years you brought us this far. 
And Lord, we are now asking that we cannot move without you. If your presence does not go with us, do not allow us to go any further. I pray that God, this nation has to turn around. I pray that there is a time now which is been given to us and we believe this is the time. This is the turning point. This is the tipping point. Father, we cry out to you that you will allow Zimbabwe to come into its prophetic destiny. Enough is enough. Lord, help us. Help our young people. Some of these young people have been born, born in these 40 years. Some of us, we got married. We did everything in these 40 years. But it's like we're going round. Lord, we cry out to you that the time is now. In the name of Jesus, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Scatter the enemy. This is the time, of oh God, that you are going to show us another way. May you help us. May you minister to us in the name of Jesus. One of the things that has been making us wandering around and not progressing and becoming a, a people that are not going forward is because of idolatry. There is a lot of idolatry in our nation. We have actually lifted up more uh, worshipping the ancestors than worshipping God. And we need to repent. The Bible says you will go backwards instead of forwards. We've not been going forwards because we have set up altars of uh, idols, or, you know, uh, praying to people who are dead, Banane and all these people. They will not take us to where we want to go. So we need to repent of all the idolatry. The time is now when we have to pull the altars of our forefathers and build an altar to the living God. So I pray that God is going to help us. We need to repent for the sins of idolatry. Father, we are asking for forgiveness that you will help us, O oh God. You are going to forgive us. We cannot go this way again. We pray that the altars that have been raised to the ancestors in this nation, we pull them down. And we pray that there is only one true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the only true God. So, Father, forgive us. We pray that the covenants that have been made on our behalf, the things that this nation, our leaders have done, Father, we denounce them and we break the power. We pull down the altars of evil and we build an altar to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the only true God. We cannot continue with anything. Thing, Jehovah. We repent and we are asking you that we will raise a new standard. May you help us. May you bring down everything that which is not of God. So brethren, my prayer is that as we go for these 40 years, we cannot go with any of these altars. Go and pull down the altars of your forefathers. Pull, denounce them and let's call on the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And we say shalom to Zimbabwe. The new Zimbabwe is here, but it's not going to come through idolatry. The new Zimbabwe is here when you and me take our families, our children and cry out to God that he will make us to cross over so that we can inherit uh, for our inheritance has been taken away and we pray that God will remove uh, all the veil that has been placed over our leaders. This time also is that there is a, a scripture that you know says he will lift up their skates which means God wants us to uh, pray also that these people uh, God will as fumure kufumura zvinhu zviri kuitika uh, you know, uh, God to lift up their skates so that God will reveal the things they are doing in darkness so that these things are not going to continue because they, it's an embarrassing when we see what is happening with our leaders. So we pray that God is going to help us to, up, to lift up their skates so that they expose, God will expose every sin. 
Because rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. And we cannot continue to rebel against God. So we are wanting God to lift up their skates and uh, expose everything that is going on right now, which uh, the, the enemy thinks he is clever. But the Bible says in Jeremiah 13 verse 26, and we end up with this. Therefore, I will uncover your skates over your face, that the shame may appear. Let's pray, brethren, that the skates, you know, Kusumu uh, Tukmasket, Naham 3 verse 5, Behold, I am against you, says the Lord of hosts. I will lift up your skates over your face, and I will show the nation your nakedness and the kingdoms of their shame. Father, we pray for those who are insisting the wickedness we pray that you will lift up their skates over their face my father their skates over their skates their, their skates over their their faces so that lord you will expose everything nothing is going to be, be hidden father we repent for all the evil and for everything that is going on we are ready to take the new Zimbabwe to the God of Israel and um, we pray that God you will help us to come through this time. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. So we thank God that God will continue to help you but please Ezra chapter 8 verse 21, I want you to pray for your own family, continue to pray for your family that we are, this journey we are going to, it's going to take us to be praying and fasting also. Please be engaged in prayer and fasting. This time, it's the time for us to cross over. So God bless you as we continue to pray for Zimbabwe.